Alright, today we're going to um, give you a quick workout that you can do um, on a day that you're just running short on time, um, something maybe quick at home if you have a set of dumbbells. And we always recommend that you do some foam rolling and you go through the ramp um, before you start into this. That all will take you about 10 minutes. The circuit that we're going to do here is probably no more than 10 minutes. It's about a 20 minute workout. And what we're doing is two combination exercises. The first one is a squat and press. This is going to work our entire interior chain. And the second one is an RDL and row, which is going to work our posterior chain on the back side. So for the squat and press, we're going to do, um, do about three sets of 10 is what we're looking for in a workout. We're just going to show you about three reps here. So we're going to go into the squat and press. So she's coming down. She's using the momentum from her hips to press up. And we're just working on full body here, get a nice deep squat. Good job. 10 of those, you're going to rest about 30 seconds. If you need a little bit longer, go ahead and take that. Then the second one we're going to do is an RDL and row. So what we're working here is the whole backside of her body. So we're going to work on hinging the hips back. When we get the dumbbells to the knees, we're going to pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then stand up. Let's go with two more reps for now. Good job. Again, we want to keep the back nice and flat. We don't want to let those shoulders round over or anything like that. Um, and again, we're going to go with about 10, 10 reps there. We rest 30 seconds or so. Go back to the squat. We'll just alternate uh, between those two exercises three times. It's going to give you a great workout, and um, it's going to hit every muscle pretty much through your body.